This story is a combination of two stories from the following Jesus series. The first one is Peter is too afraid to follow Jesus, and the second one is Jesus again asks Peter to follow him. Uh, for simplicity, I'm calling it Peter and the two fires. I wonder what this could be. And I wonder who these people are. This is all we need to start our story. This is the city of Jerusalem. And so many important things happen in Jerusalem that we need a small piece of it to help us remember the story. Jerusalem is where Jesus was headed to do what God had called him to do. Right now, the city is dark. It must be nighttime. This is a house. It's Caiaphas's house. Caiaphas is the high priest. And this house has a courtyard with a charcoal fire. Just outside of Jerusalem, there is a hill. And on this hill, olive trees like to grow. So they call it the Mount of Olives. Jesus had just come to Jerusalem to celebrate the feast of the Passover with his disciples. When the feast was over, Jesus told his disciples, let's go to the Mount of Olives to pray. But only 11 of his 12 disciples came with. Judas was missing. Jesus said to his disciples, Tonight I will be arrested. Later I will be killed. You will all run away. But God is going to make me alive again. And I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Meet me there. heard this, he couldn't believe it. He said, Jesus, I would never run away and leave you. Jesus said to Peter, Peter, even tonight, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. But Peter insisted, I would die before I left you and denied you. Just then, Judas and a soldier came with a crowd. And the crowd was carrying clubs and sticks. The disciples became so afraid that they ran away.
Judas betrayed Jesus with a kiss on the cheek to show the soldiers which one Jesus was. The soldier arrested Jesus and took him straight to Caiaphas' house. The soldier blocked the door. Peter followed at a distance. Caiaphas began questioning Jesus about his teachings about the kingdom of God. But all Jesus would say to Caiaphas is, you can ask those who heard me. This caused the soldier to slap Jesus and say, that is no way to talk to the high priest. Now, during all of this, Peter was warming his hands by the charcoal fire. A servant girl said to him, you were with Jesus, weren't you? But Peter said, no, no, that wasn't me. But the servant girl was sure. So she said to the crowd, He is one of Jesus' followers. But Peter said for the second time, No, it was not me. Somebody else in the crowd said, Certainly, you are one of Jesus' followers. Peter said for the third time, No, it was not me. I do not know what you are talking about. Just as Peter denied Jesus for the third time, a rooster crowed. It was almost morning. When Jesus heard that, or sorry, when Peter heard that rooster crow, he remembered what Jesus had said to him. That tonight, he would deny Jesus three times. And so Peter went away very sad. And he cried and cried and cried. I wonder why all of Jesus' disciples ran away when Judas and the soldier and the crowd showed up. I wonder why Judas, who was Jesus' friend and Jesus' disciple, betrayed Jesus with a kiss. I wonder what the soldiers and Caiaphas, the high priest, are going to do now that they have captured and arrested Jesus. I wonder why Peter denied knowing Jesus three times. I wonder what Peter will do when he finally stops crying. So I told you that this story today is called Peter and the Two Fires. So we just heard about what happened at the first fire when Peter denied Jesus three times. Now we're going to hear what happens at the second fire. The second fire happens after the soldiers and Caiaphas crucified Jesus. It also happens after God makes Jesus alive again. And just before all that happened, just before Jesus got arrested and just before God made him alive again, Jesus had said to his disciples on the Mount of Olives that he was going to be arrested, he was going to be killed, he'd be made alive again, and that he was going to go ahead to Galilee and that his disciples should meet him there. This is the Sea of Galilee. And Galilee is a city, a place outside of Jerusalem. So Jesus' disciples went to Galilee.
and there were only eleven of them now, because Judas was not with them. One evening, Jesus' disciples decided to go fishing. So seven of them, including Peter, got into the boat. They fished all night. They didn't catch anything. So they turned the boat around and headed back to shore. As they got close to shore, it was getting close to morning, they saw someone on the beach. But they were too far away. They couldn't tell exactly who it was. This man on the beach shouted out to them, Have you caught any fish? And they shouted back, No, we haven't. So the man on the beach shouted out, Cast your net on the right side of the boat, and it will be full of fish. So they tried it. Cast their net on the right side of the boat, and all of a sudden, it was full of fish. So full of fish that they couldn't even pull it in. One of the disciples remembered a time almost three years ago when Jesus had told them to do the same thing cast their net on the other side of the boat in order to catch some. So that disciple shouted out, it must be Jesus. Next, Peter jumped out of the boat and ran across the water to see Jesus. And the other disciples came ashore, dragging the net with them. When they came ashore, they saw a, char a charcoal fire that was already burning. And Jesus and Peter went over to the fire. And the other disciples joined them. was fish and bread on the fire to eat. Jesus took a piece of bread and he broke it and he gave a piece to each of the disciples. realized that this was Jesus. Then he took the fish and he gave a piece to each disciple. They all ate until they had enough. When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Peter, Peter, do you love me more than these? And Peter said, yes, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. Then Jesus asked Peter a second time, Peter, do you love me? And Peter said, yes, you know that I love you. So Jesus said, tend my sheep.
then Jesus asked Peter for a third time, Peter, do you love me? Now Peter was very sad because Jesus had asked him this a third time. And Peter said, Jesus, you know everything. You know that I love you. And Jesus said, then feed my sheep and come follow me. And so Peter followed Jesus. I wonder how the disciples felt when they realized this was Jesus. I wonder if they noticed the marks in his hands from the nails on the cross. why Jesus asked Peter three times if he loved him. I wonder if when Peter was sitting by this charcoal fire, he was thinking about this charcoal fire. I wonder how Peter feels now that he chose to follow Jesus. I wonder how Peter is going to feed Jesus' sheep. And what kind of shepherd Peter will become. 